So we've been living out here in the country now for almost five years and we haven't had internet service the whole time until now. We finally just got our Starlink internet. So the Starlink satellite comes with the satellite dish. It comes with this four legged mount. It comes with a Wi-Fi only router. And then it has a 75 foot cable that goes between your satellite dish and the router. So when I got my first Starlink in the mail, it actually didn't work. It actually, it would go to level and it would sit there and boot the whole time. And it took me four days to get Starlink to even answer my emails. And then finally they went ahead and they shipped me a new one and I had to mail the old one back. Um, so my experience right off with Starlink was just a little bit rough, but now that I have it and I had it hooked up, it's actually worked out really well. So I signed up for Starlink internet February 16th of last year. So I have waited over a year to be able to get this satellite internet. And now that I got it, it, it is fast, reliable internet and it has no data caps, it's unlimited data and it's worked really well for us the few weeks that we've had it. My big problem is, is that four legged mount that comes with it. Um, I really do not wanna attach that to the roof of my house. So, so far, this satellite has just basically been sitting out here on the ground. So right here is where the satellite dish has sat ever since we got it in the mail. Since I didn't wanna mount it on the roof, it's just been sitting here on the ground and we just got the cable running into the basement of the house. So today we're going to be making a custom mounting bracket so that we can mount the Starlink internet onto our house. Actually, we're going to make it so that it's mounted right off the side of our porch here. And we're going to make that custom bracket today. We're going to get the satellite dish permanently installed, the whole system installed. And then after that, we're going to be adding a Wi-Fi extender so that our Wi-Fi network is actually a lot bigger than it would have been with just the Starlink by itself. So to make our mounting bracket, we're going to be using this pipe adapter. This is from Starlink. The Starlink satellite goes in the top and then uh, your pipe goes into the bottom. It's made to, so that you can make any bracket you want out of regular pipe. And what we're gonna be using is two inch rigid conduit. And that's just because what, this is what I have on hand or else I'd just probably use two inch black pipe. All right, now I want to weld these two 45s together. And when you do this, you never have enough hands. So I've got a few magnets here. This is some strong hand tool magnets I picked up off of Amazon. These are pretty handy. Hopefully that'll hold that where I want it. And then this thing is really strong. Put that on the outside. That thing is a very strong magnet there. All right, I think I've got this all set up where it's square. I'm gonna go ahead and weld it together with a MIG welder. Now galvanized, the fumes are actually dangerous when you weld on this. You're supposed to be wearing a, a HEPA filter mask. I don't have one, so I just got a fan set up and I'm blowing the fumes out the door. All right, I got my two pipes welded together. And uh, for an amateur, I don't think that looks too bad.
All right, we got our mounting plate made up, got our bolt holes in it. Now we just need to weld it to the pipe. Just trying to make sure it's all centered. We're gonna go ahead and weld that on. All right, we got our mounting bracket all welded together. So now the only thing I need to do is paint it. Man, it is a windy day out here today. I'm painting it brown, so hopefully it matches the, the roofing and the guttering. So this being galvanized pipe may not take paint as well. I went ahead and I degreased it with some paint thinner and wiped it all down. So hopefully this paint will stick. So while we're waiting for the paint to dry on that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to reroute this satellite cable. I'm going to pull it back into the house. I just had it in there temporarily and I'm actually going to route it through the ceiling of the basement and get it exactly where we're going to put the Wi-Fi router. So down here in our basement, we ended up putting this corrugated metal ceiling down here right in the, the main room of the basement. And we thought it looked rustic, it had a cool look to it, but it really ends up hindering the Wi-Fi signal. Um, so if we end up having a wire, the Starlink router down here, we don't get hardly any signal upstairs because of this galvanized ceiling. In fact, we don't really get cell phone signal down here as well. If you, if you have a cell phone call and you walk down in the basement, you'll drop the call just because of this corrugated or the metal ceiling that we have in here. So it's really gave us a little bit of a challenge to be able to get Wi-Fi through our entire house. So I've come up with a solution. So this is our mechanical room in our basement. And if you look, there is no ceiling in here. So the Wi-Fi signal actually passes through the floor and goes upstairs fairly well here. So what I wanna do is we're gonna end up putting our, our Starlink router in this mechanical room. And it's gonna provide Wi-Fi signal to the basement and to the walkout of the basement. And then in the room above here, which is actually our bedroom, we're gonna plug in a Wi-Fi extender and then that's like a little repeater or a second router. And that's gonna basically provide signal to the rest of the upstairs of the house. So luckily the bedrooms down here actually have a drop ceiling. So it's a little bit easier to run cable through this room. So the mechanical room is just on the other side of this wall. So I just actually need to go to the opposite corner over there and then I'll go out of the basement outside straight to the satellite dish. I'm going to pull enough cable out that I think that it'll reach the satellite. So up here we have a three quarter inch hole that is drilled to outside underneath our porch and that's where we're going to run our cable to. So here's the other side. This is underneath our porch. You can see here is the, here is the Starlink cable coming through that hole and we'll just pull out enough to get it to the dish. So right here, this is the satellite cable that we ran outside. And on the other end of it, of course, is the Starlink router. And I think I've still got about 20 feet of this cable left. I'm just gonna take this extra cable that we got here. I'm just gonna put it above the bedroom ceiling. So I went ahead and I, I put a, an extra outlet up here just for the Starlink router. So now, I think the only thing left to do is just get the satellite mounted in its permanent spot. So now that the paint's dry, I can go ahead and put this Starlink pipe adapter on here. So it's got six set screws that go in here to tighten down to the pipe to hold it in place. I'm gonna try to mount the satellite off of this corner post right here. So now I get to tell whether I actually measured this right. So I want it to mount here, somewhere like that. And that don't look too bad. It's a, 
It's a little closer than I thought it was going to be. It's about three quarters of an inch from the gutter. We'll go ahead and I'm going to put a mark here. Exactly where my first, where my drill hole is going to go. At least I'm going to try. See if we can get this level. Yeah, not too bad. So I've got my satellite cable plugged in here and I've got it routed the way it needs to be to, to tie it down. I'm just gonna pop this in. It's got a little slot that goes in and then locks. And there we go. So I'm gonna route that cable around the back side here. I'm gonna zip tie them down the pipe back toward the porch. So one thing that came with the pipe adapter that didn't actually come with the satellite are these little cable clamps. So you can see, you can put that around the satellite cable and then we can attach that, secure it down the porch post and then under the porch. All right, the satellite's all mounted just above the roof line. I think that turned out pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn everything back on. So I'm standing here in our living room and I'm looking at the Starlink Wi-Fi signal, the signal strength, and it's only two out of five bars. So it's a little less than half strength here in the living room. And that's because of that metal ceiling in the basement. So the signal's not getting up here very well. So that's where the uh, Wi-Fi extenders, um, that's where it comes in. So I ended up buying this. This is a Netgear Nighthawk. This is one of the, the strongest extenders I could find. This was made for a 2,300 square foot house. And our first floor is only 1,300 square feet. So this is plenty big enough for our, for our purpose. And it's pretty simple. You just take this, you get an app on your phone to program it, and then it just plugs into any regular outlet. So I'm gonna end up plugging it into our bedroom in there. And uh, it's gonna take a couple minutes for this to boot up, but once it does, we're gonna end up having Wi-Fi signal all around the house. So everything's all booted up now, the Wi-Fi's all working. And I'm standing here underneath the porch of the pole barn, and I've got five bars of five gigahertz Wi-Fi underneath the pole barn here. I think that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that, that the Wi-Fi goes outside the house pretty good. In fact, I may end up adding another extender here in the pole barn so that it can extend it all the way through the pole barn itself so I can have Wi-Fi out here. But uh, pretty happy with the way this has all worked out. Um, it was a little bit of trial and error trying to go through this, especially with the metal ceiling, not getting any signal upstairs, Happened to figure out, I had some guys at work that actually ended up giving me the idea for the Wi-Fi extender. So I ended up buying one, got it all programmed, and just instantaneously after that, all my problems seemed to be fixed. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the, uh, sp the speed app up here real quick and see what I'll do, a speed test from right here at the pole barn, and we'll see how we're doing. So we are going through an extender. So that extender is gonna slow it down just a little bit because it's going through one device and then to my device right here, right? So, um, so we ended up with a almost 70 megabytes per second download speed and about two and a half upload speed, which is actually still faster than what we had with our cell phone. So that's pretty good, pretty happy with that. I think if we were in our basement and connected directly to the Starlink router, we would actually end up having faster speeds. So we're down in the basement now should be connected to the Starlink router. It's actually right behind this door over here. And hopefully this is gonna be a lot faster. We're gonna find out. Oh yeah, oh my, way faster. So an extender does slow it down quite a bit. 
okay that's uh it's definitely quite a bit faster than than the other way so it ended up being 178 megabits per second download and about five and a half upload that was like that's like almost three times faster directly to the starlink than through the extender so the extender is going to slow you down but it's going to get you farther i think that extender's got way more range than probably the starlink does but it ends up going to slow you down a little bit transferring through that extra device but overall pretty happy with that we do have internet again the first time since we moved out of town so you guys may find it hard to believe that we haven't had internet service since we moved out here in the country and it's true, we have not had an internet service provider since we moved out here. The only thing we have had is our cell phones. We have had internet, but it's just our cell phones. So I have a cell phone, Rebecca has a cell phone. And you know, um, you do have a Wi-Fi hotspot from your cell phone, but it's only like a gig, it's limited. So if you tried to cast that to the TV or Wi-Fi hotspot your TV, you would eat it up just like that in a few hours. So. Wi-Fi hotspot really wasn't an option. We had to learn how to do everything through our phones. And we watched a lot of TV and a lot of videos on our phones. So this was our main source of entertainment for the last, last five years. Now, for, uh, for YouTube videos, I post a lot of YouTube videos, right? Well, I, I had to edit them on the computer. I would copy them to my phone, and then I would, I would have to upload them from my phone to Facebook or YouTube. And it could take like two hours for a video to get it to upload. And I would usually try to let it do it like overnight when I was sleeping. But um, sometimes I would have to just set the phone outside. I have to set it outside on the porch where it would actually transfer faster. Um, so that's the struggle that I've had the last few years. And then for TV, um, as long as you mirror it from your phone, like you play it on your phone and you mirror it to your TV, it won't eat up your data cap. So then we would end up doing a lot of... Uh, it's like a screen sharing that, that we would play it on our phone and play it onto our smart TV. And that was the only way we could really watch anything on, on the TV, on the actual TV, was doing it that way. So now everything's changed. We've got a network in the house again. Everything's on Wi-Fi. We can watch live TV. I can download, upload from my computer, and, uh, and everything's faster too. So way better. Pretty happy with the way you know, the satellite mount turned out. It's up there permanently. And uh, pretty happy to be back on the internet again, permanently. Having a, a constant network here again. Uh, because it has been a challenge over the last five years, getting, getting everything uploaded on the internet and posting as much as I do. So now that we got a Wi-Fi network, I'm, I've already started looking at all of the new smart technology that people can put into their house. Different devices you can put on your Wi-Fi. Um, I know for sure that I'm adding some new Wi-Fi security cameras. So we're going to add a, a camera out here uh, so that we can monitor the property and, and watch it from work. Anywhere from our phone we could watch it. it would, I think it's going to end up sending us notifications. If somebody drives up here or walks up here, we'll get an instant notification that somebody's on the property. Uh, so definitely going to be adding that. Um, may add some new smart switches um, in here to be able to turn our lights on and off automatically, dust till dawn, something like that. And then I'm also looking, I've been looking at a smart weather station. I've always thought a weather station would be handy out here so it could track how much rain we get and the temperatures and all that. And then if I get a smart one, I can just pull that up on my phone anywhere. So those are probably three of the things that I'm looking at. If there's something that you guys have at home um, on your Wi-Fi network that's like one of your favorite gadgets, let me know. But uh, I think those will definitely help us uh, out here having those things, and I'm still looking at maybe seeing what else would be beneficial for us to have out here. And now that we got the, uh, the Wi-Fi, we may be able to do like a live stream. So we, if I can convince Rebecca to do it with me, we may sit down and, and maybe do, be able to do a live stream every so often from here. So uh, it's definitely opening up some new possibilities. But anyway, I think that is it for today's video. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.